Hey everybody, my name's Tom and this is Sound Dodger Plus. This is a recent game published by Adult Swim Games. It is um, developed by Studio Bean, as you'll see both of those pieces of information spinning in front of you on the screen. And um, yeah, this is a sound-based um, uh, bullet hell game, I suppose. Um, it kind of draws comparisons to something like a cross between Rez and uh, Jamestown. I guess, if you had to say anything. Um, but what I'll do is I'll actually show you the, the game itself, um, rather than just blabber on about what it actually does, I'll just show you instead. So yeah, um, here we have a selection of tracks we can select. I'll go with the, the first track here, it's a song by Disaster Piece. I'm using a gamepad, you can use a, a keyboard or a, a, a mouse um, in this case, but um, what you're to do, you are the circle in the centre and you're avoiding the musical Doritos, so, so the triangles that are getting fired out from the side, you're not allowed to let them touch you, I guess. So you have to just avoid their their pathways. You've got a very, very tiny hitbox. Your hitbox is minuscule. Um, it's the, a tiny part in the center of you. Um, so what you're looking to do is just avoid these guys without being hit. But you can brush over them. That's okay. That's not a problem. It reminds me sort of like Super Hexagon with the way that it plays, the way that everything's spinning. It's kind of... It mesmerizes you, you get kind of like in a trance when you're playing it, which is a nice feeling. Um, I, I like that. I'm very much a sucker for any game that's music based. And, and the music in this is incredible, very, very good actually. Um, this is just the kind of tutorial-esque level, the first stage that you've come to. It's not particularly difficult at all. The game also has a level editor, which I'll show you later on, which is incredibly cool. It's got so much functionality and so much that you can do with it. Um, but this, at the moment, is our, just our standard play mode. You hear the song, the, the music triggers these little triangly Dorito guys, and you have to avoid them. Nothing too stressful at the moment, nothing too strenuous. Um, you'll see in the centre that ball getting bigger, the circle. You have to you have to get that to reach the outer side of the circle. Um, so the outer circle is kind of like the finish of the level. So once that's filled up entirely, you have completed the level. If you take damage, it will speed up the um, the speed of the song. Any any enemy that leaves the outer ring at a different speed than the default speed of the track means you will not get a score for that. So you'll actually lose points. You have the power to actually slow down stuff via the trigger buttons on the gamepad or the A button. That will also mean that if they leave, of course, slow down, you won't get the score for that. And you want to really get 100% as that's the, the case with all games, you want to just do the best you can. Um, so, of course, using that sparingly would be ideal. I don't really use the slow down function all that much unless it gets really busy on the harder levels. I haven't really witnessed anything too difficult. I mean, it gets harder, definitely, but I've not played through the game long enough to see. It's telling me that I've played so far um, over two hours of the game, which is um, longer than I expected, which is probably a, a decent thing to mention that I've been playing it a fair bit. I do enjoy it quite a lot. I don't like bullet hell games, but because you're not really firing, you're kind of like a passive. Um, uh, you're not very, you're not an aggressive being in this game. You're just a circle that's just trying to get by in life, listen to his tunes, but these, these just bastard triangles just won't leave you alone, um, which is probably kind of like my high school years, but anyway, um, we're trying to avoid these triangles, that's the point, we're not shooting anything, which is probably why I enjoy it more, it gives me one less thing to think about, um, but I do enjoy it an awful lot, oh, right at the end, pointed me right in the centre, right at the end, um, that was a bit of an, an annoyance, I didn't expect that, and I got a fright, that's why I shouted, but yeah, that was quite good, oh, so we've we done slightly better than we did the time before, which is nice, 97% on that track, um, so you see, you've got a, a range of tracks by a lot of different people. So there's Danny uh, Baranovsky, the guy that done the music for Super Meat Boy and Isaac. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on down here. There's also tracks by Austin Wintery, or Wintery, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he done the music for Journey, who won lots of awards for that soundtrack. Um, there's a lot of different people here as well, Ghost Collective, Mike Forst. Um, what we'll do is we'll do the Bill Kiley tune because it's a rather splendid little, little number. Um, this one's substantially harder than the first stage. This is like a kind of bit tuny effort with a really excellent outro. Um, oh, okay, so we lost a, like 50% of our score there just because of that. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, let's calm down here. Right, so slow, slow it down. We'll speed it up again. And, waha! Uh -huh. uh, you might not think it looks hard. Give it a go yourself. It was originally browser-based, and um, they released it earlier in the year as a browser-based version, which you can play on the Adult Swim website, um, the Adult Swim Games website. You should go and check it out, it's um, it's going to give you a fair representation of what the game's like if you don't want to buy it and find out. Um, 
Now, at the moment, speaking of pricing and buying, I'll leave the uh, the relevant links in the description below. But price-wise, this will be seven dollars ninety-nine retail. Um, it's on sale at the moment for five dollars ninety-nine cents for the first week. Came out today. Um, in pounds, that's five pounds or four ninety-nine sterling and four forty-nine during the, the the sale. So four pounds forty-nine pence during the, the week one sale, which is ten percent off, I think. But yeah, um, oh, hello, um, these boxes will follow you around, so we're actually seeing different enemy types here now, um, the big basketballs are following us around, this is a lot harder than you think, trying to talk and do this at the same time, you bastards, come here, oh, oh, went right through the middle of them, I ran into it, come on now, so we can just avoid them like that, uh, so yeah, the squares will follow you around, we, we know this now, oh, we've, we've caught a tail, Oh dear lord, there's quite a lot of them. Um, oh, they, oh, I love it when the levels do that. They do little skippy bits and little things and pauses. and um, So we can avoid these, that's not too much of a hassle. And then the music becomes lovely. And you feel uh, you feel warm inside, warm and tingly and it's all very beautiful. It is actually that this music makes me really happy. It's rather sensationally beautiful. So I'm going to shut up and play this and let you listen. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I really didn't want to take a hit there because I was thinking one one thing about the game that's really unique for me at least is that in games like this usually I don't care about the music so much. I mean music based games they tend to have generic soundtracks, aside from things like Proteus which had a fantastic soundtrack and was a wonderful game. Usually music based games have generic soundtracks which seem to be music made for gameplay rather than gameplay made around the music, if that makes any sense. So you'll find the tracks are really rigid and 4-4 and they sound very boring and very generic. Whereas in this, the music's excellent and it gives you an incentive not to take a hit. It takes uh, it takes away something from the music. If you take a hit, it slows down the track or if you slow down, or it speeds up the track rather, or if you slow down the track manually, it, it removes a, an aspect of the game, of the music that you want to hear. So yeah, it's a, it's a unique point for me in a music based game. Usually I'm like, ah, music and games, pfft. Rubbish, but no, this is this is a genuinely brilliant soundtrack. It's worth buying alone just for the music. You'd spend more than that on an album, and iTunes on arguably worse music. Um, so here we go. We're just going to avoid things here as we do. This is Mr. Meat Boy and Ha ah, Binder of Isaac fame music, um, and we'll try and avoid these things as best as again. Nice, very good. Doing a decent job here of just avoiding stuff. We can slow down, of course, if we need to, and we can do that, and that's good. It's nice. But I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. It's it's a, a lot of fun. It's something that I'm not usually a big fan of, as I've said. Anything bullet hell, and I'm kind of like, well, I'll play it for a bit and then see what happens. But this I've been enjoying. Anything with the music slant to it is, is good in my book. My rather long book of things that I enjoy. <laughs> So the basketballs, no hassle here, no hassle with the triangles either. The Doritos are looking a bit worn, they've maybe left at their packet for too long. Don't eat a green Dorito. Unless it's a special one, then maybe it would be green, I don't know. I'm not in the food creation industry. The food creation industry! The crisps industry, the, the Doritos industry. Um, so we're going to just avoid these guys like that, like so. Um, you can use the mouse as well, which is probably somewhat easier. You can also use the D-pad, which is so rigid and horrible, it's not worth it's not worth thinking about at all. Um, games like this require a, a gamepad, um, analog stick, or or a mouse, of course. Um, so we're just avoiding these guys as pros, the pros that we are, avoiding them like stone cold killers. Um, so that's nice, very good. Music's fantastic. Can't state enough how much I enjoy the music in this game. So if, if you're into music based games, this is certainly, oh, there we go, spinny, 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 that's excellent, I love that every time. Um, so if you like music based games, this is certainly something you should check out. Not just for this, but I'll show you the next part, which is, again, incredible. So, 
level editor. We have it here. What we can do, we have the uh, level editor here that we can see. You can choose bullets, spin rate, time warp. You've got your waveform at the bottom, which is incredibly cool. Um, so I'm just going to try and pick a sliver here and zoom in a bit. There we go. So this is obviously the, the sound wave of the song. This is a song that I made. Um, I'm using it for licensing reasons because I can't use like a proper song and I didn't want to find anything on short notice. And I have lots of music that I make, so I just picked a song. Um, so there's this track here, um, which has used the auto-gen function up at the top right, which will basically just fulfill or, or um, populate your, your your own music with, with shit to fire at you, basically. Um, and it's really full, it's really rich with features, um, you can do things like you can play back tracks and things, and you can watch it in the background of what will actually happen, so you can actually play it in the background. So if I get hit here, it will show me getting hit here and things and stuff, and they'll follow me about. You can pause it, and of course you can do different things like add new, half speed it. Very nice, uh, that was a 909 or an 808 cowbell sound there that you just heard going at half speed. Um, nice padded kick drum sound. Yes, so very good. So we can do that and then what we can do is we can go to exit this And then we'll do this and this is my my track and we can avoid that and it's not really too difficult I've just done this just for the sake of showing you what you can do So you can put your own music in it and it will do things if you automatically generate a level or you can do it yourself manually So yeah, that gives you a good idea of the game. It's um, as I said, it'll be $5.99 or £4.49 um, for the first week of sale then it'll go to I believe it's $7.99 and then um, $5.99 99 maybe or 499 I can't remember but you can check that out yourself anyway in the description below my name's Tom this is Sound Dodger Plus we'll see you next time